everybody, how you doing? I got a lot of fan mail we're gonna be opening up today. Isn't that lovely? It's like fucking Christmas here. I mean, seriously, it's it's been it's been a while since I did a fan mail video, and uh, not all of this is fan mail necessarily. But uh, I just uh, I I figured okay, well I got I got this rather large thing in the mail today, so I thought okay, it's. I think I have enough stuff to work with here, you know, because if I only have, like, a few letters, I'm not going to do a fan mail. I need to at least let it build up after a while. Uh, some of this stuff, I think, is even still, like, Christmas presents people sent me. So, so let's get right into it. I don't even know where to start. Actually, I do know where to start. I'm going to start with the stuff that Artie Dommy sent me. Um, now, uh, Artie Dommy sent me this stuff, I want to say, back in December. It was a while ago, and I did a live stream where I featured a lot of the stuff that he sent me. Um, but I never did a made a proper video about it, so here we are. Um, now, the letters... That's kind of haphazardly scattered, so we might not get to his letter. I might just do all the letters at once. Um, I, I don't know. I'm not really I'm not like a method to do this, but I do know Artie Dami sent me this awesome Jotaro hat. Extra props for sending me a Diamond is Unbreakable Jotaro hat. I mean, the hat he had in Stardust Crusaders was cool, um, how it was like part of his hair and everything. I think that was the joke that uh, Araki was drawing Jojo and didn't want. He's like, uh, yeah, his hair and the hat, they're the same thing. It's just easier to just color it all black so yeah but I, I do dig his Jotaro I mean I do dig Jotaro's hat from Diamond is Unbreakable I actually even threw out an idea of um, doing a Jotaro cosplay from part four so I don't know what you think I, I don't know if, I don't really don't have the build for it but I am working out so maybe I'll grow a, a few feet you know and then I could pull it off but I don't know I just love his design in part four super freaking fleek so he sent me this he also sent me this um uh, uh, Aokiji figurine, I almost said a Kainu, Aokiji figurine here, uh, of, um, Kuzan just chilling out here on this chair, but that's not really the major draw of this, the fact is the chair is detachable, and as we all know, get out of here, as we all know, the chair is the ultimate villain, protagonist, anti-hero, minor character, major character, everything in the world of anime, no, screw it, the world of fiction, chair action figure right here so yeah that's that's cool um i love how his the back side of him has to be formatted for the chair so it just slides in oh i just popped off his arm that's the thing about these one piece figurines they have a really cool design but um you, you i i don't know if you're supposed to glue these things on part of me thinks you are because the ones i have you know if you even just jostle them a little bit they pop off so maybe what you're supposed to do is like take some uh like craft glue or something and stick these in the slots to keep them in there uh but then i'd have to i don't want to glue uh, aokiji's butt to the chair so that's that so he's he's chilling out there keep him right i want to keep him in front oh that's perfect it's perfect right there okay just chill out there see what i did there um, what else? He also sent me this, uh, Scouter. I already have a Scouter that somebody else sent me a while back, but it's always nice to have another Scouter. I think that last one was blue. This one's red. So, yeah, we got the Scouter. Click, click. I think, does this one turn on? The other one I had actually turned on. Uh, it, like, clicked and made sound effects. I don't think this one makes sound effects. I think it's just, uh, just for, like, a cosplay prop or whatever. But still, pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. Click, click, click. I wish they would have kept the scouters around. I mean, it, in Resurrection of F, Frieza's soldiers show back up and they have the scouters, uh, which is cool. I always like that that design of them back in the old school Dragon Ball Z days. You know, like all these alien soldiers, everything's divided by like power levels and stuff, and they're the devices to check for power levels. I thought that was a pretty cool concept. I especially loved. I think it was a filler episode where after the uh, after Raditz, you know, dies, Bulma takes his scouter and uh, modifies it and and uses it to like, oh, here's. Krillin's power level, here's Roshi's, here's the Turtles, and the Turtles is like 0 0.0001, and I'm thinking, oh, you could you could do some more stunt, fun stuff with that, but after a while, um, power levels in Dragon Ball Z just became completely irrelevant, you know, like, they're, like, Goku, what is Goku's power level now? Like, Ultra Instinct Mastered, it would be like, like, one quadrillion, like, what would it even fucking matter at that point? You know, the numbers are just getting too big, so they're just meaningless. So thank you very much for Artie Dami. Also sent me, um, there's also a letter in here somewhere. Actually, I think this is the one they sent me. I, I don't, I'm not good with letters. Um, is this, is this it? Is this it? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, this is Artie Dami's. Yeah, okay, so here's the letter. I found that. That's one hurdle cleared. But uh, just one more thing that uh, he sent me is this Attack on Titan bracelet, which I will open. There we go. Got that. 
I'm a fan of collecting wristbands, you know. I, I was in the era of high school back in like 2009, 2010, where everybody had those uh, wristbands on. Uh, we had the funny bands that we would always wear, and then the wristbands. Not these kind of wristbands, because this is kind of, this is kind of, this won't fit on the wrist, you know. It's not like an elastic, it's like more of, it is, but it's like, you know, like a string. So, I'd have to, it's actually, hey, it's actually more of like a, like that armband Luffy had in uh, Impel Down, you know, the one with the Captain John's treasure. That's more of what I could use it for. So, you got Levi, Levi, Levi again, Levi, and I, I know what his name is pronounced. Uh, and then Colossal Titan, and then the Squ Scout Regiment, and then all the different, oh, it's all the different regiment corps. That's cool. No, except Garrison. Just the Scouts and the Training Corps. Doesn't have Garrison or the Military Police. That kind of sucks. Okay, well, we have some more stuff to wear during my Attack on Titan reviews now. We got the creepy Mikasa poster, which is over there, and now we have this. So, And we have the Colossal Titan plushie. So, I, uh, I'm i waiting for you, Chapter 103. Bring it on! I'm just gonna put you right next to Aokiji here. Colossal Titan versus Aokiji. Who wins, guys? Come on, now. You might be thinking the Colossal Titan is, you know, several, several, several stories bigger and can emit a massive amount of steam, but I think Aokiji's so cool and chill, he could freeze that steam, so... I think... Don't, don't give Aokiji... Don't, don't throw him out right away. I think he's got this. So I think that's everything Artie Dami sent me. Let me read the letter here. It's kind of a long letter. Dear Matthew Crawford, <gasps> you know my name. Uh, what is up, Cringe King? It is I, your faithful supporter and subscriber, Alex H. I should throw some epic music in the background here. But you probably already know me better as the mysterious Artidami. I am sending this letter typed out because my handwriting is illegible and I had no good writing paper. Okay. Included with this box of goodies to congratulate you on reaching over 200,000 subscribers, as well as a big thank you for all the hours of entertainment your content has given me and the rest of our community for all these years. Long letter ahead! FYI. Um, I first discovered your YouTube channel back in 2015 when WatchMojo placed you in the third of their top 10 YouTube anime reviewer channels. Someone actually brought that up on my live stream last night, and I'm so happy people remember that. Because, yeah, WatchMojo, I mean, that's, that's a big channel. It's a big website. It's got, like, over, like, you know, three, four million subscribers. Um, um, but, uh, you know, that was three years ago, almost, which is crazy. Uh, the older you get, time goes by faster, so it's crazy it's already been that long. Uh, I only had, like, 20,000 subscribers when they gave me that, when they gave me the number three. I didn't expect that. I hated the, f the, um, the clip they used to show my videos, because it had nothing to do... It was, like, it was in the middle of a Bleach review when I was going off this random tangent that had nothing to do with Bleach. <laughs> I was talking about, like like a childhood superhero I made or something, and it was just some random tangent, had nothing to do with Bleach or anime at all. I don't know why they chose that clip to, to represent me, but whatever. I uh, That was a fun video. Um, let's see here. Uh, let's see, One Piece, uh, oh yeah, Bleach, uh, uh, from reviewing Bleach way back in the day to your One Piece character videos now, you have come a long way from starting your channel back in 2011. I actually started my channel back in 2009, fun fact, uh, but you don't have to go back and watch that. I am glad that your channel has grown exponentially and that you are becoming a more active role in the YouTube anime community. Am I? Oh, because love seeing you in Gigguk. Yeah, okay. Gigguk made the anime tuber rewind uh, because YouTube. YouTube every year does this thing that I never really even pay attention to. I think a lot of people don't pay attention. They do the YouTube rewind, and I feel like the YouTube rewind is just a thing for like, hey guys, check out all these super super popular YouTubers. We're gonna stroke their cocks for about twenty minutes as we show you all the stuff they did. I'm like, well, they're already pretty popular. Shouldn't you focus more on like up and coming? YouTubers, like the ones like that, hey, this YouTuber started at zero subscribers in 2017, and at the end of 2017, he had like 500,000 subscribers. That's pretty impressive or something. Maybe they do. I don't know. I never watched a video. I just feel like that's what it is. I've just seen clips. But so Gigok, Gigok decided to do an anime YouTuber rewind, and, and, it, and I, I appeared very briefly. I think the, the clip he used was when I did my Ichigo and Naruto uh, video when, when Screw Attack was doing their death battle. I did a video about that. Um, that was also really cool because uh, Wiz from Wiz and Boomstick actually watched that video and tweeted at me. He's like, yeah, man, I liked your video. I'm like, oh, Wiz knows who I am. I, I guess I am getting popular, whatever. But then Giga put a, uh, there was a scene in there where I was talking like, Rasengan, 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 clone, clone, clone. And that's, that's what he put in there. 
But I, I didn't, I didn't know that at first. Like he didn't ask me or anything. Like I don't care. But it's not like, it's not like I approached Gigok and is like, I want to play a more active role in this community. Can you please include me in the anime YouTuber rewind? I didn't even know he was doing it. I didn't even know I was in there until after. But I'm glad I got a small part. I'm glad. Uh, before we get everything, before we get into everything in the boss uh, box, I wanted to give you a little time to describe why I enjoy your channel as much as I do. First, I have to give you major props for the length and heavy attention to detail you put in each one of your videos, whether they be 30-minute chapter reviews or hour and a half long character discussions. I um, pe people say you know my, why are my, why are your videos so long? People, a lot of people like them, but a lot of people are like why are you, what, you you can address the same thing you addressed. Like I don't set out to make a long video just to let you know. Like I'm not sitting down thinking like okay this video I'm making has to be an hour long, or it has to be 30 minutes long. I talk for as long as I can about the topic until I feel like I've addressed everything. Sometimes I forget shit, but I talk for as long as I can. I don't script these. I might have, like, little bullet points I tape to my desk, like, all right, I want to talk about that with Nami's character or whatever. But um, I, I just talk for as long as I talk, and then when I feel like I'm done, I'm done. And then I edit it, and whatever's the final product, 20 minutes, 40 minutes, hour and 15 minutes, I don't care. It just gets going up. That's how it's always been. And a lot of times when I set out on, like, yeah, the other day, I did a video on Tank Top Master from One Punch Man, a character that has, like, barely anything to do with the plot, really. He showed up, like, once that really did anything relevant. And I thought, oh, yeah, this is going to be a short video. I'm going to be able to knock this guy out in less than, like, 10 minutes. But 21-minute long video, not because I intended that, just because that's just how long, I guess I had more stuff to say about him than I thought of. Um, you know, thanks for all the enormous amount of time you take to script, <laughs> research, okay, film, edit, make the thumbnail for the video, yeah, all that stuff I do put effort into quite a bit, actually. Making thumbnails is probably, like, one of my favorite parts of any video, because it's right at the end, and after it's, like, my little dessert, after editing, I get to make a little visual representation of all the stuff I just talked about. Um... You know, congrats for getting your uh, bachelor's degree. Thank you very much. Uh, everything else that goes on to your life. Uh, next, as someone who just got their bachelor's degree in 2017, but in history and liberal arts, I thought about getting a degree in history, but I felt like the only thing I could do with a degree in history is um, to teach it or to be like a curator at a museum, and neither of those things seemed really interesting in, I mean, to me. Like, I have friends that are teachers, like, awesome if you're a teacher, but I couldn't do it. Because I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to be a teacher to a bunch of little kids, because little kids are bastards, and I can't control control like 20 kids you know I can't do that in the classroom I would drive my would pull my damn hair out and I know I don't want to teach teenagers either because I was in high school not too long ago and I know how much of a you know how much of douches you know teenagers can be we made a substitute teacher once cry so bad she left she was a substitute she had to let, leave the room because she we made her cry so bad so not me personally but my class did and that was yeah I don't want to deal with that shit um I am glad you love history and mythology as much as I do, whether it's discussing where Oda got his inspiration from real-world pirates or creating his pirates in One Piece or going over Elbaf's possible connections to Norse mythology. I want to do another Elbaf video, by the way. I just I just want to do another one. Um, this is a really long letter, um, and I don't know if I want to go through every little detail. Um... I think he just goes through basically the things that he sent me, like he talks about JoJo's hair, uh, you talk about a more bizarre series in part four, um, you know, he's talking about Crazy Diamond, and then this, the One Piece wall scroll, oh yeah, the One Piece wall scroll, I should probably throw that up there, uh, yeah, he's the one that sent me this, um, yeah, sorry Goku, looks like I'm stronger now, huh, check it out guys, Tekken just took down Vegeta, Future Trunks and Super Saiyan Goku, just like that. Who has Ultra Instinct now, Pioch? All right, so yeah, he sent me that uh, One Piece wall scroll back there with all the straw hats chilling out on the sunny, looking to the sky. Um, I love the top-down view of Nami and Robin's boobs, so um, yeah, thanks for that. I get to fall asleep tonight staring at Robin's breasts. You know me so well. Um... <laughs> One Piece wall scroll of all nine straw hats with the outfits they were following the two-year time skip when they all returned to Saba Ondi. Um, beside all of your various personas and characters, rest in peace, Neji Teching. I'm glad people remember Neji Teching. Um, the other, the one thing that changes in your room consistently between videos is your wall scroll. So here's another one. Yes, I, I, I think that's a little thing I have going on. Is every time I'm talking about a certain series, I just flip out the wall scroll. It's like the least I can do, right? Um, figurine of Kuz on there. Uh, the last big item I have in this is a DVD of one of my favorite anime, Kokoro Connect. 
I have that. It's um, I it's buried in my DVD collection right now. My room. I was cleaning out my room yesterday. Things are kind of thrown around, but I do have that over there. Um, Kokoro Connect is a school supernatural anime that follows five students who form their own clubs as they were unable to form separate clubs due to lacking the necessary amount of members. They begin to experience supernatural happenings to them as swapping bodies and being able to read each other's minds. Interesting. <laughs> um, I'm a fan of the body swap trope. That's just that's the thing I enjoy. Um, Let's see. It will also be due to controversy involving the voice actors. I will always love this anime to death. It has been uh, is the added bonus of containing my favorite female anime character, Inaba Himeko, who is my profile picture. Oh, is that who that is? Okay, that makes some sense now. She's the cute girl the farthest when you left with the black bangs. Yeah, I, I have the DVD over there somewhere. Um, you might enjoy it as much as I do. Well, maybe. There are also a few other small items. Um, a Dragon Ball Z scouter, Attack on Titan arm bracelet, uh, and a tiny figure of Sanji when he was trapped in Nami's body. Oh, yeah, that's over here. Yeah, he knows what I like. Thank you, sir. You know what I'm into. Okay, there you go. There's. The, I have to change the focus up on this. Hold on. But, uh, yeah, that, I, I didn't even know they made this. It's just a random thing, you know? Like, that one time Nami, when Nami and Sanji swap bodies, let's make a figurine out of that. Here you go. Wait. Why is it not focusing? That's weird. Why is it not going? Autofocus. Oh, there. Wait. Huh? <laughs> Damn it. it. Might be the new webcam. I used to be able to adjust the focus on my old webcam. Now I can't for some reason. That's strange. Oh, well. Uh, maybe I won't have that problem when I do this. Uh, but anyway, yeah. So this is, uh, this is pretty cool. Little, little platform here of uh, sexy Sanji time, Nami. Sexy Nami Sanji time. Sanji should not complain for the rest of eternity about not being able to, uh... He's like, oh, Nami Swan, why don't you marry me? I mean, he, dude, you got to feel them. You know he looked at them naked, and he got to touch them constantly, okay? You're good, Sanji. You have enough... You're, you're good for a lifetime now, okay? Um... Let's see. Although you decided to do stop doing My Hero Academia chapter reviews in favor of One Piece... I wish you would talk about the series once in a while. I actually did do a review of that about about a month or so ago. Um, if I wasn't a big fan of the Chisaki arc, if we're being honest, um, if the next arc is more interesting, uh, I might do various discussions. I wanted to do character discussions about the characters. Character discussions about the, that's redundant. Redundant statement. Redundant. But um, yeah, we'll see about that. I might I might get on that. Still waiting for the Rob Lucci discussion video. Kind of already did him in. Uh, I did a CP9 video, and I did a video on him during, um, Horoween, but, uh, just in terms of a straight-up video. Smoker Sabo Kobe. I'm doing a video on Kobe. That's probably gonna come up rather soon, because always pe everyone always tells me to do Kobe. Um, gotta have that Tech Cringe 101 merch. That's, that's a process in coming. Uh, geography is everything! It is. Uh, shout-out to talk about your Viewster account. Love how you've been making discussions about Joseph Joestar and Haruko Harahara. Yeah, that's on my Viewster. You go check that out. Say hi to my friend Brandon, who is also a fellow subscriber and big fan of Bleach. Hi, Brandon. Uh, we're both addicted to Bleach Brave Souls. I don't, I don't play it. It's just, it's just not my thing. Uh, lastly, Teching, I wanted to say this. I don't know what the future holds for you. I don't know if you plan on reviewing One Piece for another 15 years. As long as it continues, I'll keep going. Uh, you grew 100,000 subscribers in a single year, so maybe you'll have 500,000 by the end of this year. One can hope. I am myself moving on from my old part-time jobs and applied for the JET program, Japanese exchange teaching program to teach English in Japan. I've actually followed a, um, I don't think she makes videos anymore, but it was a user on YouTube back in like 2011 and 12. I used to watch her. Her name was Kawaii Jutsu and she was part of the JET program and she would, uh, her name was Mary and she talked about what it was like living in Japan and everything like that. And she was an interesting YouTuber. Um, you have brought me so much joy these past three years of watching your content, and I just wanted to say thanks and knows that someone appreciates and cares. Sincerely, Alex, Artie Dami. Thank you! I'm glad I got that out of the way first. You know, that was the longest one. I'm glad I got that out of the way first when I was, like, uh, you know, had the most energy. Okay, so what's next? I got a lot of shit here. Um, let's see. Um, that I'm gonna save for later. Let's go with this. Uh, this is a gift for me. I didn't even know Amazon.com did this. I knew they did a gift thing, but I, I never knew they could actually wrap them for you. So, uh, yeah, Amazon does a little gift wrap thing. Uh, this was actually kind of a pain in the ass to open because it was tied so tightly. I had to cut the strings, basically. But, inside, we have more letters that I ran I trammed in there to make sure I wouldn't forget about them. Cool. Um, but, uh, we also have... The first volume of RWBY Ruby, which is the first time I've ever read this series. And uh, I got this, and then I had to go to 
take, you know, relieve myself in the privy. And uh, I was like, okay, that's a good as about time as ending to read this. And I was in there, I was in there for a while, just reading this book. Not even, like, after I finished my business, I'm still in here like, okay, 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 this... This is pretty fucking cool. So now I should... Uh, Jessica Negri voices Cinder in the anime adaptation of this. I just never got around to reading it or watching it, but now I probably... I, it definitely looks like something I would be into. Bunch of sexy teenage girls fighting with, you know, martial arts and magical tools. I mean, what, what's not to love? Um, but it does seem rather interesting. It seems the character development's pretty good, too. Um, so I'm enjoying this. I'm not done with this book yet, but I'm enjoying it. Um, so that was sent to me by... Shit. <laughs> um, hold on. This might be the Amazon slip here. Yeah, this was sent to me by, um... Uh, wait, no. Wait, no, this is... No, this is the receipt for when I got my toe x-rayed. <laughs> Which wasn't even broken. Okay, oh, there it is, there it is, there it is. Okay, this is the Amazon, this is the thing. It's like, receipt for patient. Wait, what, what was I with a patient? Hi, Teching. Big fan for your videos and live streams. I'm the fan who asked you a few months ago if you would read Ruby Manga. So since it's out, though, thought I would send it to you. Uh, hope you enjoy. I do enjoy. And this was sent to me. I don't... Did you give me a name that I could go off of here? Uh, Ship to me. A gift for you. I do not see a name on here. Uh, maybe they wanted to remain anonymous. Um, that's cool. Thank you very much for the manga. I am enjoying it quite a bit. And it looks like something I will be into. Maybe you make a video about it or two. I don't know. We're going to see. Okay. Uh, what's next? Um, let's go with this box over here. This is from eBot. eBay. Got this from eBay. And we got some trinkets in here. Got a letter. Um, I don't actually know if it's from eBay. He might just be using a box from eBay. You, you know what I mean. This is... Uh, oh, it's a My Hero Academia poster. Never saw this one before. This looks like fan art. My Hero Show! Uh, yeah, this is totally, this is totally fan art somebody did, but still looks pretty good. It looks like someone just did fan art and then just printed it out, but in like, but it, it's still pretty cool. I could get this framed and stick it up. I'm, I'm, I have, my room is just filled with so much posters and art right now. I'm just gonna wait until I move and then have my entire house. I have enough material to deck my entire house out with nerdy stuff. Um, a manga by the name of Gunblaze West, GBW. Looks like it's about a guy with a gun. Looks like an early 90s kind of style. Kind of reminds me of... Uh, it's written by Watsuke Nobuhiro. Reminds me a little bit of Rave Master. A little bit. Okay. This doesn't seem so bad. When was this made? Uh, this was... Uh, 2003? Yeah, 2003, I think. Uh, or 2001, something like that. But uh, yeah, early 2000s, late 90s. Looks interesting. Um, oh, and Fully Cooley, which is uh, part of the manga. Uh, I actually have the Fully Cooley um, omnibus here, which is uh, everything, all of the volumes. Uh, Fully Cooley was an anime first, and then it was a manga later. A very rare exception to that rule. It usually starts out as a manga, then anime, but it was flipped with that. So I already have the manga, but uh, I know you know I was a fan of this. This is my favorite anime of all time, so thank you very much for sending me. I very much appreciate it. Uh, and finally, the last item we have is a law hat. Not the typical law hat, but a law hat. This is this is what law would wear. This is what law would wear if he's going to a baseball game. You know, I wonder what team law would be a fan of. You know, so yeah, check it out. Law hat, awesome. We're sideways law hat. Law the rapper. What would law's rapper name be? You can comment that below. So that's everything for the box. Uh, letter, letter. Who's got the letter? Okay. Hi, Teching. I've just been watching your last year, but I'm already a big fan. I always love your streams. I'm the wrestler guy who always donates. Thank you. You're the one that that acknowledged for me not to fight a bear. Which, I'm not planning on fighting a bear. I just keep having dreams sporadically throughout my life where I encounter bears. Sometimes I fight them. Sometimes I run away. Sometimes they're just... They're just chill. But I'm, I'm, I'm like, someday in my life, I'm going to be walking through, like, a nature preserve or some park or some freaking, like, Yellowstone or something. And I'm gonna, there's going to be a brown bear with her cubs, and she's going to start charging at me. And then my entire life's going to flash through my eyes, and I'm like, well, you knew this was coming. And then I'm probably going to die, but I'm not going to go down. I'm going to go down fighting. 
Okay, no, there's several techniques you can use to protect yourself from a bear attack. Um, probably going to use one of those. Also, thanks for following me on Twitter, at DragonBoss24. I have here... I have here some manga I found at a used bookstore. I know Fully Coolie is your favorite, and I also sent you the Western one to see what you think of it. Also, there is a neat My Hero Academia poster here. I found at a local anime shop. Pretty sure they just went on DeviantArt and downloaded some fan art and, and just popped in it, because I've seen people do that. They've sold stuff like that on Amazon before. They've sold... I've seen wall scrolls that are just DeviantArt fan art that's just download, and they just turned it into a wall scroll. Probably didn't get the author's permission. Um, I also have sent a bootleg law cap just because I don't know what else to do with it since I already have one. Thanks for already putting so much effort into your videos. Love you from the bottom of my heart, Paul Ross. Any relation to Bob Ross? I don't know. P.S. About that fan fiction, I'll DM you the link once I'm finished with the introduction. Yeah, it's going to be a multi-chapter one. It might be a while because of school and other things I have going on. Oh, sweet. Uh, PPS, also, here's your stand page. Yeah, my, my stand is named, um, people have asked me, like, because I'm a fan of JoJo, so obviously, because I'm me, I went out and made my own stand. I, I even made a very quick, um, because I'm not great at Photoshop, but I did, like, a pretty basic just layout of the design for it that I would have enjoyed to have. Um, uh, where is it at? It's here in my pictures folder somewhere. It is here. So my stand's name, I'm a big fan of, of David Bowie, so my stand name is, of course, Space Oddity, and it's just an image. I, if I had better drawing skills, I would deck this out with, like, over-the-top JoJo-inspired clothing and shit, uh, but this is the, the general idea is, like, it's like Alien X from Ben 10, like, the actual, it's like a shape of a human, but it has, like, space as the background and, like, white gloves and, 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 and it can manipulate gravity. So they gave me a stand page here. Uh, can change the increase, can increase or decrease the amount of gravity in an object uh, does not work on animals or humans. Humans are animals, but okay. Destructive power A, range C, speed C, precision B, durability C, development potential B. Awesome. Space oddity. So yeah, that's, 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 that's that there. But thank you very much, Paul. Is that everything? Yep, that's everything. Thank you, Paul. I'm gonna put this stuff back in here, have a convenient box to put it all in now. Um, okay, what's next? Oh, I also think uh, Artie Dami sent me this. This was something else that fell off to the side. This is a Teenage Gohan keychain, so thanks for that. Um, what is next? We got some letters. Um, that's the one Artie Dami sent. Oh, something else Artie Dami sent me was this little wipe. Just a, just a little cloth with a, a little cute bear on it. Um, got some letters here. Some of these I might have already read. This one, this was, this is an older one. That was, this is from April of last year, so I'm pretty sure I read that already. Like I said, cleaning out my room, a lot of stuff going on here. Um, February 16th, 2016, this one's old. Probably read that, definitely. If I haven't read that in two years, I'm a horrible person. Um, this is an interesting one I got. So this is from a kid that's at a military academy right now, right? So he's like military school when he sent me this. And um, looks to be like a like a little like maybe like I don't know maybe like uh, twelve or younger than that. Hey, teching, I went to a military school, so I live on a military base. I don't get to go home for another ninety days, so hopefully I'll get to binge One Piece when I get back. Make sure your uploads make sure you upload some videos for me to watch when I get back. I think you're pretty funny. Reminds me and my friends, but most of them moved because I live in Upper West Vir oh, well, Upper West Virginia, so it's a lot of uh, opioid and meth problems. Yeah, we have that here in West Pennsylvania. A lot of uh, probably the the ones that are the most problematic are here are heroin and um, like oxy like. Like, uh, over-the-counter, I mean, uh, prescription medication painkillers. A lot of problems with that in this area. There was a major drug bust uh, last year where, like, 30 people were arrested. And some of them I knew from, like, school. Uh, or, like, they were the brothers or, you know, sisters of people that I went to school with. Like, you know, family members. It was, it's pretty bad in this area. I came to realize it's pretty much bad wherever you live, you know? If you live in a major city, you're going to have drug problems. If you live out in the boonies, there's drug problems because everyone's bored and wants stuff to do. Um, hopefully when I leave here, I'm going to make my career flying helicopters and hopefully have enough money to travel and go to conventions and go diving. Sadly, I'm stuck in this base with no internet, TV, and any music or outside information. My teacher mailed me saying she's going to strike at the Capitol because in West Virginia they changed up the health care benefits so everyone at my old public school will probably have to stay until the July 28th instead of May 28th. Uh, that sucks. Other than that... 
Love you, man. It don't change. So this is a guy, um, thank you, Devin. This is a guy that literally is, like, in military school right now, in, like, a military base with, like, no access to, like, the outside world in terms of, like, internet. And he's probably writing to his parents and brothers and sisters and loved ones, but he also was probably sitting around. He's like, you know what? I'm going to send a letter to Techie. I appreciate it very much, Devin. Thank you very much, and I hope you uh, continue on with your dream of becoming a helicopter pilot. I hope you can get through the gruelingness that is military school. Never been myself. Don't really have a desire to, um, but good luck to you. Um, thanks for the letter. So what's up next? This one is from January 2018. All right, so I probably haven't read this one yet. This is from Jesse. Dear Teching, I have been watching your videos for a long time now. I'm a big fan of yours, and I like your theories. I think you are very funny. I have a question for you that I think would be good for a discussion. The question is, what would Luffy do if he found out that Kobe or Garp were killed or beaten close to death by a marine or a pirate? That seems rather specific, but I might bring that up at some point. Also, I don't know if you've ever thought of this, but what about um, Sea Prism Stone Devil Fruit? I think that would be the exact opposite of, like, because people have thrown out ideas of water-based devil fruits, and I think there's a way that that can work, but the Sea Prism Stone itself is, like, the exact antithesis to, like, devil fruit powers. Uh, also, I think that if Garp or Kobe were killed or beaten close to death, he's really obsessed with this idea of Garp and Kobe being beaten close to death at the same time? <laughs> you know? Um... Luffy would just go ballistic. He wouldn't care if they're Marines or not. I say this because of how Luffy is. Well, no, Luffy doesn't give a shit that they're Marines. He still views them as friends, just as, like, um, you know, like, you're my rival because you're a Marine. But he doesn't view them as, like, you're a Marine, so I don't like you. You know, that's not how Luffy rolls. But thank you for the letter, Jesse. Uh, let's see. What's next? Um... Uh, oh, this is the one I got from Poland. I got a letter from Poland. Awesome. I always love when I get shit from overseas, you know, because it's like, it's so cool. I get letters all over the world, you know? I, I love that shit. Very, very good writing with this one. Very, I don't know how you do this. How all of, everything stays on the lines and everything's spaced out perfectly right and you could still maintain it. My question is, whenever I try to do this, I usually end up smearing ink everywhere because I'm, like, pressing the pen against my paper, so slowly but surely I'm going to end up getting a smear. But this is, this is fucking pristine! How do you do it, woman? This is, yes, it's, I think it's a girl. Uh, my name is Dorothy. Okay, there you go. And I'm from Poland, so forgive me for my English, it is not my first language. Well, you cleared that first sentence fine, so you're good. First of all, congratulations on 220,000 plus subscribers. You deserve every one of them, your content is amazing. Also, congrats on greeting, uh, on getting your bachelor degree. Now, when you are free from school, you should come and visit Europe someday. I really want to. I, I want to have people to go with, though. I mean, like, like some of my close friends. I don't want to, I've mean, never been to Europe before, never been to another country before, so so uh, it would be a big culture shock moment, and I, 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 I'm not like uh, super, super ang anxious, or I don't have like panic attacks all the time or anything. But that would probably trigger a panic attack if I went to Europe by myself. I know, I know, I have fans there that would meet me at the airport and show me around, and maybe even be nice enough to give me a place to stay um, and like show me the sights. But I mean, I would have to have at least a few people that I'm familiar with here to travel with. Um, but yeah, definitely one day, I definitely want to travel to Europe. I wanted to thank you because I've got nobody to talk to about anime and manga. All my friends think it's weird. <laughs> We've all been there. So it's great to watch you talking about it. I've learned a lot from, you know, those videos. My hobby is watching your live streams at 2 a.m. when I have got home, when I've got school or work the next day. Damn you time zones! Everyone always tells me that. Like, no matter when I stream, it's inconvenient for somebody. It's just how it goes. Uh, also, your videos filled the emptiness in my heart after I marathon One Piece in four months. Holy sh I'm not even religious, but holy shit. <laughs> four months. Uh, it's like 900, it's 800 episodes in four months. Hey, God bless you there. <laughs> also, your videos filled the empty- oh, I already found I've marathon One Piece four months. And then you uploaded a video called How to Get Started with One Piece, where you just say start from the beginning. That, I mean, people have- I, I, I wasn't trying to troll people. It's just, that's the best piece of advice I can give. And skip the fillers. That's all I got. Um, you were saying why people shouldn't rush with it and then just take it to their time and yeah, the pain is real. Just take your time with it. It's not ending anytime soon. If you start watching One Piece right now, even if it takes two or three years to get all caught up, it shouldn't take you that long, but even if it did, it'll still be going strong by the time you finish. Don't worry. 
Um, I also wanted to write this letter to let you know about my existence and that I may have a crush on you. <laughs> there, I said it. Blushing and laughing nervously. Then they drew a image of herself with blushing. That's that's cute. Uh, <laughs> I know you probably get dozens of hundreds of letters like this, but if you want by any chance to write back, which would be like a dream come true, then here is my Twitter account. That's her Twitter account. There is also much more I want to tell you, but the letter is getting really long, so I'll end up. Keep up the great work. Love, Dorothy. P.S. Next time, uh, may I send you some fan art? Because now I don't have any time with all these exams. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I love getting fan art. I don't have anywhere to put it right now, but I keep it, and I'll definitely put it up when I move out. Fun fact, my surname is Polish, means literally a little shed. You know, the crazy thing about naming is I think a lot of other countries name their kids after things. Like in Japan, it's like, you will be named, like, like Aoyama means Blue Mountain in Japanese. Like, there's, like, some significance to that. I'm going to quote, um, I'm going to quote Bruce Willis from F Pulp Fiction. I'm American, honey. Our names don't mean shit. <laughs> you know, it's just like, I'm sure if you look up Matthew, it's significant somewhere. He was the tax collector as one of the apostles, but people don't name, in America, we don't name our kids based on, I'm going to name them this because it means this. It means great warrior or great scholar or little shed. We don't name people for that. We just name people based off family usually. Like, I'm named after my great-grandfather. Um, every now and then you get somebody that breaks the mold. I have a friend that named her daughter Phoenix. So, I think that's a pretty cool name. I think it works for a girl. Mm. Alright. So, moving on. So, this is not fan mail that I got because of... Um, oh. Let's get to this first. <laughs> um, okay. So, this was from um, Wayne. Wayne's World! Extreme close-up! Oh, it's that guy from Persona 5 that I haven't played yet! Whoa! Yeah, he sent me some fan art. Oh, this is the person... Okay, hold on. Let me read this first. Hey, Tacking. I hope you enjoy these drawings. If you're not sure the drawings in the back are from Persona, though I do say the game is addicting, is there another character you would like a drawing of? I don't know. Let me look through these drawings really quick. And then that's Wayne, who has a very long nose, um, who's also from Persona. I know who that is. Um, so... This is the ones that uh, that Wayne sent me. I actually framed a few of them and put them up here on my wall here, uh, right here next to uh, Jason, uh, and right above All Might, you have a drawing of Reju Vinsmoke on top and Velma Dinkley from Scooby-Doo. I like the really cutesy Velma. I think everybody has an obsession with Velma. You know, cute, uh, big boobs, totally, uh, short hair, glasses, super cute, super smart. I think we all like, I think we all want to, I think we all want to, Pork Velma. Um, okay, so, um, yeah. Guy from Persona, who I don't know. Uh, crazy cat person, also from Persona, who I don't know. Uh, Boa Hancock from One Piece, do know. Carrot from One Piece. And, uh, Pudding from One Piece, with, with, with the boobs. And, uh, I think this was an entry, was this supposed to be Green Bull? I think this was supposed to be Green Bull. Uh, this might have arrived after the contest ended, though. Um, yeah. So, uh, this was sent to me... No, January 30th. I might have missed this out. This is another one I missed, maybe. But here you go. Uh, well, that was when it was postmarked. That might not be when I got it. Uh, but there you go. Green Bull. Pretty cool. Pretty sweet. I don't know. That might have actually been included in the contest. I'm not sure. I don't think it was. I don't think I remember this one. I think I would have remembered the giant, obvious gate of justice behind them there. So, uh, thank you very much, Wayne. And I framed, uh, some of your stuff up here. Pretty good shit. Thanks. Um... Now, over here, this was sent to me by Art, uh, by, uh, not Art, by, um, uh, Vinral Grave. So we did, uh, the, uh, the Green Bull Art Contest, me and Roger and Joy Boy did that, uh, on February 19th, and, um, one of the people that we think should have won that we didn't pick, uh, because we were just going through everything was Vinral Grave, who is a professional artist that I, that has sent some art to Roger before, and uh, the, he, I contacted him and was basically like, hey, man, I think you deserve to win. So I gave him some prize money. Uh, and also he offered, very, very nice of him to send me some of his artwork. Uh, and he lives in Indonesia. And it was interesting getting this in the mail because our postmaster actually called us and said, you know, you got a package here. And I've never encountered this kind of package before. I guess we've never. I guess I'm the first person in my town to ever get anything from Indonesia, because she didn't know what to make of it. And like, oh well, do we have to pay extra money for it? And she's like, nah, you'll be fine. So thank you. Uh, but yeah, so that was interesting. Little little story behind that there. So 
very careful. Uh, this was packed extremely well, taped up very tightly. Um, so I'm going to be very careful in pulling all this artwork out here. Um, this is also going to be stuff that um, I'm going to frame, most definitely. Roger was showing me some of these off in his stream, and uh, these are just fucking breathtaking, just amazing. So um, I'm going to show you these now. Um, so this is, by the way, he asked, he gave me a catalog. He basically gave me his catalog, and he said... Pick out whichever ones you want. I don't. I don't mind. And so I picked out. You, these are my selections. So you know. Um, he also sent me an extra one of, of his own volition, which was a good move. So Momo Yaya Rosa from My Hero Academia. Um, you can tell. Uh, very cutesy one. I especially love the Todoroki nesting doll down down here. Uh, <laughs> yeah, she, she, wow, she's thick. Never really noticed. But yeah, Momo from uh, My Hero Academia. So I'm actually just going to leave that back here because I think you might still want to look at that for a little while. These are really good. I don't want to bend them or anything, though. That's, that's, that's good. That's good. That's good. Um, next up, we have Zoro using Ashira from, from One Piece. Look at this shit. Look at this fucking detail. Like I said, I am gonna, whenever I get to my own place, I am framing every single goddamn one of these, and they're just gonna be all throughout my house. Because these are just absolutely incredible. Um, so there's Zoro. Uh, Zoro. Marco. I, I can't even put them back here. I need to show you each one in detail. They're just so damn good. Look at that. Look at Marco there. Freaking blue flames everywhere. Freaking talons in the foreground chain whitebeard symbol that's freaking marco the phoenix motherfucker uh then we have uraraka from my hair academia <laughs> love the uh love the attention to detail there i don't think uraraka has that much of a revealing uh little window there for her cleavage or that big of her cleavage but i'm not complaining uraraka and then you have saitama the black and white with just the red power of the saitama looks so goddamn intimidating here like way more intimidating than he ever looked in the manga this looks like him just like the entire world just got eliminated and now he's fighting the fucking god plus level threat that took it that took it down you know he like he's super serious there this is the one that i didn't ask for he sent this one to me of his own volition which i'm not complaining thank you very much um suyu from my ear academia frog girl froppy yeah, that's... Yeah, <laughs> okay. Um, and then we have Sanji, just like Zoro, using the wide, and then also the landscape, and then the Diablo Jambe. So, that's a Sanji there. I don't even know how you do these. I seriously don't know how you freaking even draw these. They're so highly detailed. And the last one here is Genos, uh, in battle mode, ready to go, full-powered incineration cannon charged up. These are... Absolutely incredible. I'm going to keep these in an extremely secure location. Not in my basement. For those of you that don't know, I, I didn't have a lot of room to keep my stuff, so a lot of my fan art I stored in containers, and I didn't have anywhere to put the containers except my basement, and my basement flooded a few weeks ago, and not every bit of fan art and fan mail got destroyed, but some of it did, and that really pissed me off. Um... But I will definitely be keeping these. Uh, and, and my basement never flooded before. It's not like my basement was prone to flooding and I kept them down there knowing that. I First time it's ever happened to that, to like four feet of water. I just didn't expect that ca happening a mile away. But that's how it goes. So that got me pissed. But uh, I'm going to keep these in a very secure location until I can frame those and get those ready to go. All right. Um, but yeah, that's that's all of the fan mail, fan art, whatever, all that stuff I got. Long ass video, but uh, I, it stacked up after a while. If you want to send me some more, uh, my uh, my PO box is in the description. Uh, Matthew Crawford, Culver, PA, PO box 436, uh, 15927. Finally, we come to this. This is my new sexy. This is my wife. This is my new girlfriend. She's uh, fully loaded. I'm going to take her out tonight, and it's going to be a good time. Um, this is my new PC, CyberPower PC, 8 gigs of RAM, uh, graphics card. I'll just throw up the stats right here of what this computer is, because I'm not so much of a computer guy. Um, this was recommend rec recommended to me by one of my uh, fans who knows shit about computers. Um, there was also a 16 gig RAM one that I was looking at, but it was out of stock, so I went with this one as 8 gigs. Um, if I need more RAM, I'll get more RAM. If I need a better graphics card, I think the graphics card in this one looked pretty decent. Um, 
It was, uh, what was it? It was like an AMD RX, it started with an R, it was like a 580 or whatever. I looked into it, and it wasn't like, it's not like absolute top level, you know, off the freaking line, best shit ever, but it's pretty decent for the price that you would pay for it. Also, I, and if I, well, I need a new graphics card, I'll get that. The main selling point for me is obviously something that's good at video editing, and also, well, storage, obviously, but also, um... VR. I was thinking about getting a VR headset, an HTC headset or Oculus or something and doing some VR shit. Uh, ran a diagnostic on my computer. The graphics card was not up to date and my computer is about four years old and I thought it was about time to upgrade. Also, um, this computer is still very useful. I'm going to keep it and when I move out of here, I'll have this computer for probably like my bedroom area and this computer will be the one that does all the editing, does all the videos. I'll have that in like an office area. Hopefully, I'll have that. So, I was looking to buy another Another computer anyway it's right around the time of the year I get my tax returns uh, back my right uh, income tax refund so I think as well it's the best time to buy it might as well buy it now so just got it today we had a massive blizzard today like a huge blizzard state of emergency was declared in Pennsylvania let me show it to you here um, give it a second for it to adjust uh, it's it the snow has kind of died down a little bit, but it was pretty pretty bad this morning uh, Freezing rain all that bullshit had to climb out on my roof this morning to uh, Get the snow off of our dish and I had to shovel and I had to go down to the post office And like I was like freaking trekking with this thing It's like holding it above my head as I was walking wading through the snow back to my house like da 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 So I uh, I wanted to film this first because I'm gonna be I'm going to be playing with this the rest of the day, um, and I might maybe film an SBS video maybe later today. It's only noon right now, um, but I wanted to make sure to get this out first because if I was pl spending the rest of the day playing with this, I might get distracted. So um, this is probably the last video I'm going to film with this computer for uh, probably for a while. This is going to go into storage. I already moved. I have two external hard drives. One's, uh, one's pretty old. It's only 500 gigs, but the other one I just bought is two terabytes. So I was moving everything, my videos, all my uh, my things I need, my editing software, all the material I need for my videos, all that stuff. My porn, had to move my porn folder out, you know, all that shit. You know how it goes. Um, but I'm going to keep that in storage for now. Um, and uh, when I get my own place, I'll hook this back up. But this is the, probably the last video you'll be seeing from this, this my Asus in a while. So um, it's, it's moving on. So here's, here's to the CyberPower PC. Thanks to everybody to for sending me fan mail. I love you all so fucking much. I just wish I had a place to put it all, really. Um, anything you want to add, uh, Kuzon? Okay. What about you, Colossal Titan? Anything you want to add? You're about to be airdropped on an entire city, killing thousands? Well, that's kind of dark. Okay, well, whatever. Uh, that's a strange thing to go us out on. But anyway, hope you enjoyed, and uh, signing out, everyone.